Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle, the Backfield Baseball Barn, Master Instructor with Epstein Hitting System. And I want to cover a little bit today of, of how to prepare for an attack. And this is not going to cover everything that you should be doing prior to the at bat, but let's focus on maybe one or two different things. And that has to do with how do we get our rhythm and tempo and then kind of timing. And this all really starts, should start, in the batter's box. Or maybe before the game even, that you're watching a pitcher throw his bullpen. And if you can kind of get an idea, and just start working your body. However you stand, your stand stride, all that, you do all that the same. And then just time it. When your front foot lands, that ball should be coming into the plate. So as we move on into the game and we're standing in the, in the dugout, we should be watching the pitcher and the batter that's up to the plate. We can watch and just envision in our head, use that visual, visualization technique, and just watch his movement. Whether he's a big rock back, small step, it doesn't matter. We're envisioning our rhythm of one, two, keeping our feet slow, making sure we're staying wide enough, and when the ball passes the plate, or you watch that batter, and as he swings, your front foot should be down, and you start your swing as well in your mind. Then once you get on deck, if you're playing travel ball, in Little League it might be a little bit different. You want to be standing and just kind of, as he's throwing, the, the catcher's throwing the ball back to the pitcher, you're just kind of visualizing what you're doing. Maybe you're, you're having a little bit of a problem swinging too, up too much that day, or you're popping balls up so you don't want to swing down. You want to just focus and practice a little bit about what that weakness was you had in batting practice. And then when the pitcher gets ready, that's where you're just standing, getting yourself ready, however you hold your hands, you gather your weight, you go through your motions, and then when your front foot lands, that hitter should be swinging. And that'll put you about on time. You certainly don't want to be swinging when the pitcher's going. That's just bad attitude. So work through that process the same way every time shouldn't have really any problems. It's not going to be perfect by any means, but it gets you in the ballpark. Hope you enjoyed this. Give us a like on, on YouTube and Facebook, and then subscribe to our channel on YouTube for upcoming videos.